today we're making a new composting toilet. I made one about a year ago and it's starting to fall apart now. So I've got a new piece of wood and a template ready to be cut. So let's get started. First I remove the old toilet and get the bathroom cleaned up a bit. I've been taking some measurements here, uh, just trying to figure out, figure everything out. I don't know how well you can see it, but I've got everything measured out here, and now it's time to cut. Alright, so I got the box all cut out and put together and sand it down. Now all I need is a top and bottom for it. Everything fits in nice. So, it's coming together pretty good. Alright, here's the box of the actual toilet completed. I've got a top and bottom now. I left a nice little lip here so that when the hinges are installed you can just grab it here and lift up. You can do what you gotta do and put it back down. Still gotta cut the hole for the seat, but that'll be after I finish the wood. This is the stain that I'll be using. And then after that, I'm gonna coat it with a few coats of this fiberglass resin just to seal the wood and hopefully keep out the stink this time. I used to have these two cabinets next to my closet that I turned into shelves and I saved the doors and I'm using them to open up some storage areas like here and on just underneath the bunks so we can have easier access to them. Here it is all done. This will allow us to more easily check how much water we have left in our tank and it will also give us a place to store pots and pans while we're underway. Alright, so I've got about two to three coats of epoxy on this inside and out. I still have to finish the bottom. I cut holes out for the legs to support the front because it won't be sitting on the little ledge. And uh, this is the top piece. I got the hole for the toilet seat cut out, and I've got the front, or I got the top with one coat of epoxy. I'm gonna get some more coats on that today, 
And I'm going to cut out some more wood I need for the rest of the bathroom today and get it, uh, coat it with some varnish. Just doing a test fit so far. Um, I got the back wall fitting real nice on both sides. I think this is where the toilet's gonna be. I'm gonna have my bucket for wood chips right here like the old one was. And I'm gonna make this little raised platform here a, another storage area, like a little cabinet or something. Uh, store some toilet paper or something in there and then I'm going to be redoing the shelves and painting the walls because yeah it just looks horrible so that's a update so far I'm going to take all this stuff back I'm going to cut out walls to go along here and along the front here and same for this side and I'm going to mount these little legs I have down in the corners here I was just measuring to see how far they need to stick out down here all right so now I've got the feet mounted in I've got the back wall we're gonna have the wood chips there storage compartment here just got to build a wall to go across here and across there and then I can start staining and epoxying this piece finish the bottom of that finish the bottom of that and I still need to cut the hole for the urine tank because it sticks out and sits on the ground so, and these this and this piece here are gonna go in separately and once they're in the boat I'm gonna mount them together right here somewhere and they'll also be mounted together with these walls here and here and then the whole thing's going to get mounted to the boot uh, this side's going to be bolted to that wall and this side's going to be bolted to that wall so it'll be nice and sturdy all right so here's another update i got that hole down there cut so this is in place now uh, i've got the bucket and the urine diverter fitted Everything fits good. I'm about to epoxy this and stain and epoxy that and then we'll be done for the day. Alright, here's another little update. Uh, getting the third coat of epoxy on everything that I just made. So hopefully tomorrow I'll be ready to install the thing. That's the end of this video. Stay tuned for part two where I show you the actual installation of the toilet and I go more into detail of the guts of the toilet.